As the school year for Washington Township High School seniors finally comes to a close, now it's an all-out rush for districts to independently determine how the new school year can safely start. Not only will this not be a normal school year, furthermore, there is no one-size-fits-all plan. Today, Governor Murphy signed an executive order encouraging schools across the state to open for in-person instruction, but giving schools who are not prepared an option for all digital learning. It's not fair for Murphy to tell superintendents and people who are on local school boards uh, that they are now epidemiologists and that they're responsible for literal life and death decisions. It came just hours after this letter from the state's largest teachers union, together with New Jersey associations of school administrators, principals, and supervisors, landed on the governor's desk. It urged a statewide mandate and that all schools begin the year 100% remote learning. It read in part, the stakes are too high, the consequence is too grave. We take our student safety as a top priority. Penn Saucon School Superintendent Dr. Ronnie Tartici says he respects the union's stance, but says if schools prepare properly, they can protect against the spread of COVID-19. We're full steam ahead for either an AV split or five days, and uh, busing will be different. There's hand sanitizers on the bus. There's separation on buses, there's separation in classrooms, there's separation in hallways. Aaron Wisely is an elementary school teacher in Washington Township. I really feel for the younger kids, you know, kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth. But as a parent, she feels her high schoolers can learn remotely. We are fully committed to getting this right for students, our educators, our districts, and every family that everyone who enters one of our schools goes safely home at night. That was Cindy Long reporting. Many school districts in our area have different and sometimes complicated plans for the start of the school year, so we're making it easier for you. Right now on NBC10.com, we have an interactive map showing the reopening plans for districts throughout our area. Find it at NBC10.com slash back to school.